Hello and welcome. DNF and CNF. I prefer to DNF as sum of product and to the CNF as product of sums. Basic knowledge of logic theory is required. Please watch my video entitled Logic Theory Part 1 and you have the link here. So the DNF is for disjunctive normal form and I'm going to refer to it as sum of products and you will see why very soon. And conjunctive normal form, CNF, is uh, referred to as product of sums. So I will start with the first one, the DNF. Uh, before I do that, I want you to think of uh, this AND operation as a multiplication and the OR operation as an addition, T4 as one <laughs> and F as zero, not one is zero, not zero is one. Now, before I do that, I want you to, I want to explain something for you. This expression right here, this logical expression, P and Q and R, it's true if and only if P is true, Q is true and R is true. The three of them must be true for this to be true. Now, if I take this expression here, to be true, P must be true, Q must be true, my, uh, negative uh, uh, not R must be true, which means R is false. If I take this now, this is going to be true if not P is true, meaning P is false, Q is true, Q is true, and not R is true, meaning R is false. Example number one. If I'm running an experiment and I'm getting these answers here, these responses, so uh, I'm getting all Fs here except the T here. I am looking to find an expression that would produce these results, these values. So I look at the T here, it's coming from these three values. So for this to be t true, t m B must be true, Q must be false, and T must be true. So I can say the expression I'm looking for could be P and not Q and R. See, this one is true when P is true, not Q is true, meaning Q is false, and R is true, and R is true. Here's another example. I left the first example. Now I have another um, example here. I have a function f of p, q, and r, a logical function. It's all its values are false except for true one time here. So f can be expressed as not p and q and not r. So again, this would be true if not p is true, meaning P is false. If Q is true, Q is true. And not R is true, R is false. Now, I'm giving you here a third example. Now I have, I have a function here that I need to define. It has these values right here. F, F, T, F, F, T, F, T. So I look at the values when it's true here and here and here. And this is true if and only if P and not Q and R. P, not Q, R. Here, not P, Q, not R. Here, not P, not Q, not R. So if I take this one plus this expression plus this, if I put an OR here between them, I can create a function that value that satisfies these values. So these are called product, product, see the and and product, product, and then the or or that's a sum. That's sum of products. Sum of products. So now back to disjunctive normal form, DNF is sum of products. Uh, we are going to be using the P and not P as literal. 
and P is a logical atomic variable. It's a very simple logical variable. So DNF is a compound proposition written as sum, which is or, of products that are ands of one or more literals. So here are some examples of DNF forms. That's one of them, see the or, or, and then you have and here, and, and, one variable, one uh, 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 logical variable here by itself is fine. So now example number four, uh, let's write P plus Q in DNF, uh, sum of products. First, you create the, the truth table for P implies Q. And um, remember, P implies Q, true implies true is true, true F, false implies true is true, false implies false is true. The only time we don't allow truth to imply false, false. So you take, see where, where it's true, 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 true. True here means P and Q. True here means not P and Q. And true here is not P and not Q. And then you should, you should put the OR between them and you will get this expression. So P implies Q is equivalent to P and Q or not P and Q or not P and not Q. Product, 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 and all of that sum of product. Now, just for your information, also P implies Q is, can be written as not P or Q in DNF as well. Uh, that's a simpler form than, than this form here. Example number five, that's a little bit more uh, example, a bigger example. So we need to write P implies Q implies R in DNF, sum of products. We create first the table of, the, the table, the truth table of this expression here. Okay, the truth table of this expression here. And now I watch where it's true, here, 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 here. So from here, P, and Q and R. Here, P, not Q, R. Here, P, not Q, not R. Here, not P, Q, R. Here, not P, not Q, R. And then I put OR between them and I get this long expression. As you see, that's sum, the red, of products. Each one of these is product, product, product of the variable or its uh, negation. Now we go to conjunct conjunctive normal form, CNF, product of sums. Again, we uh, recall that look, look at the AND as a multiplication and OR as an addition. T for one and uh, F for zero, not one is zero, not zero is one. Now I'm going to look into it in a different way now. I look at, uh, remember, I'm going to do now some product of sums. So I have to have sums, so I have to have ors here. So this expression here is false when P is false and Q is false and true is false and R is false. That, that gives you false, otherwise will be true. Otherwise, other of these value, uh, values, this will be true. Here, uh, this is a true, this is false when P is false, Q is false, not R is false, meaning R is true. Here, this one here is false when not P is false, meaning P is true, Q is false, not R is false, meaning R is true. <coughs> Okay, example, now I'm running an experiment, I'm getting these values. So I look at the values when it's false, if <coughs> it's coming from here. So this function I'm looking for, this expression I'm looking for could be not P, nor, uh, not P or Q or not R. Not P or Q or not R. Now again, this here will be false, if and only if this one is false, and this one is false, and this one is false. This one is false, meaning P is true. This one is false, Q is false. This one is false, meaning R is true. 
another example, another function here, f. It's all true, except this value, f. I look at this value, it's coming from this here. So it'll be p or not q or r. So again, look at the f here. This will be false if r is false. Not q is false, meaning q is true and p is false. That corresponds to this here. Other than that, any other values will produce a true value. Any other values will produce a true value. So that really, if you do the truth table of this function f, you find exactly this here. Example number eight. Uh, so I have now a, a function g, p, q, r. Here are the values of the function. So I look when it's false, false, false. Remember, I'm producing now or here, or, or. So this false is coming from not P or Q, not R. This false, P, not Q, R. This one here, P, Q, R. So now you put an and between them and you get this function G, P, Q, R. It's sum, 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 <coughs> and product, product. That product of sums, product of sums. So conjunctive normal form, CNF, is product of sums. Again, literals are P and not P. P is a logical atomic, atomic variable. CNF is a compound proposition written as product and of sums or of one or more literals. Examples of CNF forms, you have this one here is C, product, sum. Example number nine, let's write P by conditional Q in CNF, product of sums again. Create the truth table, you have it right here, look at the F, F, F. This F is coming from not P or Q. This one is coming from P or not Q. And you put an and between them. Now again, look at this expression right here. This one is false if this is false and this is false. If Q is false and not P is false, meaning P is true. Otherwise it will be true. So you get this answer right here. Example number 10, let's write this in CNF, product of sums. At first, you create the truth table. You have it right here. Look at the F, F, F. This F is coming from here. So not P, not Q, R. Here, P, not Q, R. Here, P, Q, R. Then you put an and between them and you get this expression. Again, it's product of sums, sum, 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 and you do product of sums, okay? So now there is a, another way to go from a, a DNF to a CNF. It's a little bit more sophisticated, but uh, if you like it, you can use it. Uh, so to write a logical expression E in CNF, product of sums, you find first the negation of the expression E. You write the negation of the ex expression E in DNF now, in sum of products. Then you negate the DNF and apply the Morgan law to get E in CNF. Let me explain that with an example. Here, we want to write this in CNF product. Okay, so what we will do is we first take the negation of this, which is not this. So I have the negation of this in the truth table. I have it that this way, this, this is the negation of, F, of this expression, okay? So now I'm writing a, uh, 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 I need to, to write uh, some of products, products, products. So now T, you get here P and Q and not R, true here not P and Q and not R, this one here, not P 
and not Q and not R, and you put the OR between them. So I have now this expression written as sum of products, 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 sum of product, product, product. So now I go to step two. I take my original expression. I make the negation of this. That brings me back to my original expression. So I put it, uh, the negation of this one here, I brought it from here, from here. I put it right here. Now I will apply the Morgan law on this, this. So it will be the negation of this and the negation of this, and the negation of this. Negation of this, and the negation of the second one, and the negation of the third one. Now you apply the Morgan law a second time to each one of these. And remember also to apply a double negation. So this one would be ne uh, not P or not Q or R. Not P or not Q or R. This one here will be P, not Q, not Q, or R. See a double negation. Here, P, or Q, or R. Double negation in, in each one of this. And this is in CNF as in example 10. That's the same result as we got in example 10. So if you like to do it this way, that's fine. And I hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, short video. That's the end of DNF and CNF. Thank you for watching. See you later.